Welcome back digital watch lovers and today we are going to continue with a very long overdue video and that is the part 2 of the review for the fossil abacus. A while ago we did a quick user review and today we are going to do a more comprehensive review in which we are going to see how you can pair your device with a computer starting from scratch, uh, how you can load an application from the internet and what tools you need if you want to do your own programming. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm about to sync for the first time my watch with a PC. I'm going to do this step by step so you guys can easily follow along. I am doing it for the first time, so whatever I encountered, I will be sure to catch it. Uh, because this is my XP machine, uh, I already copied the files from the CD that you get with the watch uh, on the hard drive, because I don't have an optical unit with this. And I did try it on a Windows 7 machine, but the driver uh, didn't work, because it's designed for uh, Windows XP and uh, 2000. Okay, so uh, the contents of this folder is exactly what you would get on the CD. And here I have the watch. The watch is not uh, yet plugged in the USB, so we're just going to install Wrist PDA. Hopefully, this is not a lengthy process. Okay, so we have a pretty menu, English. Risk PDA software. Okay. Yep. Palm OS desktop. Username. Vintage digital watches. Okay, so supposedly we have everything installed on the machine and I do see here in, on the right corner that we do have the hot sync icon. It's automatically checked to local USB. So what I'm going to do now is connect the USB and uh, go to hot sync, hot sync on the watch. So. USB connected. Uh, I will keep the watch in the lower screen so you guys can see if anything happens on the screen. So I've already attempted the hot sync prior to this on my Windows 7 machine. So I'll start it from the beginning. So here you can see the hot sync icon. I'm going to use the stylus to press that. And hard from this position okay we have selected a uh, cradle slash cable and we're going to click on the icon and now theoretically it's syncing so I'm expecting to see something on the screen come on okay wrist PDA new hardware found <coughs> No, not at this time. Oh, come on. Okay, so I'll browse to the location of where I copied the files, but honestly, I expected this to be already set up. You can already see it paired out. Have the Abacus folder, Rest PDA drivers, 
Windows XP. Okay. Next. It's installing something. I'm not sure if uh, I had to keep it in the sync mode while installing the driver, but now it's out of the sync mode. I'll press OK and it returned to the menu of HotSync. So it's installing something. Finish. So now I'm going to attempt another thing. Okay, your hardware, your new hardware installed and ready to use. Sync. Okay, and it even beat. I have a selected user. And I suppose this is it. It's synced up. Let's go ahead and open Palm Desktop. As you can see, uh, this is a manager for syncing. It's not currently the default. Yes, default to this. Address to do. Okay, and it copied the wrist PDA support. I'm going to type in new address. Let's see. Name. That's sufficient. And I'm going to do another sync now. Just to validate that. That will get on the PC. On, on the watch. Address and there it is. Whatever I type there. So that is how you uh, sync your watch with your PC. Uh, this is all from scratch, as I said. Uh, basically, you insert the CD, run the files, you install the driver, which apparently didn't install when I installed Palm OS Desktop. Uh, so I had to manually install it. I hope I'm not boring you too much by filming the screen of the computer, but that is the uh, most comprehensive way I could think of uh, of showing how the pair is done with the PC. We're going to continue with downloading an application from the internet and installing it on the watch. So another thing I wanted to try out is install an application I downloaded from the web, which was built specially for the Abacus, and it's the Karateka a game which is a karate game from the 80s which was done by the same guy that did the original Prince of Persia so what I downloaded from their site was this XE and after you run it it installs something on your machine but then uh, I navigated to the folder that it installed in and all I could see internet browser file which was taking you to their website to their website but when I opened Palm desktop, I did notice that in install it actually put itself here karateka.prc. So I'm going to click on add. I don't know if you have to have the watch in hot sync or not, but right now it's uh, in the clock mode, so I'm going to click add. I'm going to click done. Okay, so supposedly when I am going to sync it, it will install the game. So let's go ahead and do the sync. Right now it's syncing and maybe it's installing the application. It does have a game folder. So that's the first place I'm going to look in. Go back. Games. Oh, and here we have it, Karateka. 
that's it's actually really really amazing that it worked so easily so so easy hopefully you can see the screen okay I'm going to launch it uh, hopefully that clicked okay okay trial mode it said something about the trial mode blah 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 I read on the website where I uh, downloaded it from that you can play up to a certain point after which you will have to enter a code that you will purchase. So I entered OK. Hopefully it's doing something. Did I press OK? doing nothing right I had to press the left button and I'm not sure if you can hear it but it also has sound and this is quite amazing there's the name I'm, <laughs> I'm actually speechless. This is actually happening. Wow. I'm going to take this closer and not use the zoom because it does have sound. So hopefully you can hear the sound. Now you see a reflection of my camera. Not sure how I play this. So this is how I move my character. Probably I'm getting my ass handed to me right now. Going backwards, going forwards. And I pressed this button which actually took me out of the application. But I am really amazed that that worked so quickly. Hopefully for some of you Karateka brought back a few memories um, and made it interesting enough so that you give it a try yourselves. We're going to continue now still filming the screen of the PC um, with the tools that you need to develop your own software. So anyway, I want to show you um, how you can program the Abacus watch and what you generally need uh, is an IDE an integrated development environment and the one to go with in my uh, opinion is Code Warrior. Now this is a paid version so you will have to buy the software there is also an alternative uh, to use whatever IDE you want but you would have to set up a lot of files just to be able to use that one. Uh, this one is the one with the least uh, overhead you will also need an emulator because uh, it will be easier for you to develop the code uh, and try it out on your PC before you can uh, download it to the watch. That emulator can actually be downloaded from the PDA Wrist SDK or Wrist PDA SDK and that is free. I have a version right here. SDK supposedly the version is 1.3 yep and if you go to pose you will see here emulator uh, now this emulator can emulate uh, several types of uh, PDAs but this one uh, has the file to emulate the watch so here you see uh, is actually the watch and it be behaves exactly how uh, the real hardware would behave Code Warrior is just like a dedicated development environment. I'm by no means any expert uh, uh, in uh, the Palm OS. 
so I won't do any examples here that's uh, something that if you want to explore you can do it uh, I imagine uh, it does have a bit of a learning curve but it depends on how much you program C because it is uh, programmable in C so you will have to know uh, a bit of that uh, you, would, you will have to have some knowledges of that language that completes our episode today I went through it as quickly as possible uh, not to make it a long video but unfortunately because of the details it did uh, turn out to be uh, to take quite, quite a bit of time so I hope you've learned something surely for me it was a research experience uh, and I've enjoyed it a lot and next time we're going to do a digital watch sourcing guide uh, mainly I will be showcasing the places I look for digital watches and a few tricks so you want to see that episode if you are looking for a specific watch oh and quick announcement um, I did order yesterday from uh, eBay a very rare citizen that I'm that I was looking for uh, for three years now it was in my automated search on eBay and last evening it popped up it was at an unbelievable price um, it is a citizen solar watch but I won't spoil the surprise uh, it's going to be the next next video in my plan hopefully I can stick to it uh, but I do have to wait for the watch to come in I think it was from a user from Italy Okay, it doesn't matter, but I, I believe shipping will take uh, two or three weeks tops, so uh, we'll just have to wait until then. Thanks for watching, and until next time, don't forget to wear your digital watches. Okay. Yeah, don't forget to wear your digital watches.